or parent of a teen in St. Joseph, you may have seen this backpack put together by a group of organizations, individuals, advocates, wanting to give teens the tools and resources they need for self-care. People are feeling more and more alienated and not knowing where to turn to. And we thought that this would be a good way to reach out to all of our high school students and say, hey, we care, you're not alone. There are things that you can do, even if you're shut up in your house and you can't go anywhere. There are things that you can do to stay well and to stay healthy. Jean West is a counselor and trauma expert with the St. Joseph School District. She says 2020 has been a difficult year for everyone. I think there is an increased need for support within our students during this time. The worldwide coronavirus pandemic pushed us into a virtual world and eroded our physical one. And lots of people want to help, but it's difficult to know where to start. It's hard just to sit back and watch everything happening and going, what can we do? Missy Snyder was part of this year's United Way leadership class. Even before the pandemic, her group knew they wanted a project that focused on kids. We heard a presentation from Jean West. My name is Mrs. West and I'm with the school district. Um, about childhood trauma and adverse, adverse childhood, childhood experiences. experiences. Also referred to as ACEs, adverse childhood experiences. That can be abuse, neglect, homelessness, or even something more universal like divorce. It can be many different things. What's important to know with trauma, it is the perception of the individual that is going through the circumstance and an overwhelming experience that they do not have the capability of meeting at that time. If you don't know how to cope with that stress, it can become toxic. It can affect teens now through adulthood and generations down the line, leading to school dropouts, depression, job challenges, substance abuse, and chronic illnesses. You can't tell by looking at a kid necessarily that they've experienced any kind of childhood trauma. ACEs are something child advocates have known about for a long time, but the stress of the pandemic only amplifies those fears. COVID-19 has um, affected all of us. And I think people a lot of times think, oh, kids will bounce back, but um, they need the tools to do that. And that's how it all came together. The St. Joseph Health Department used grant money to fund the self-care backpacks. United Way got involved, Missouri Western students, and the school district, among others, all wanting to provide the teens. Some skills and tools that they can develop that will help them overcome adversity, deal with stress, um, cope with uncertain times. In each backpack is a journal, a Frisbee, activities, exercises that correspond to a printed infographic about self-care. Healthy relationships, mental health, sleep, nutrition, exercise, mindfulness, and meditation. Sarah Scott, another member of the United Way leadership team, focused on mindfulness and meditation. It just takes one minute and you already have all the skills you need and that's just already in you and I feel like a lot of people can use that and nobody else would even have to know. Time, research, and love went into the 4,000 backpacks high schoolers took home for the holidays. And these four women say even if one teen was helped by the project, it will all have been worth it. We know that kids are struggling. We understand and we see what's going on and we are here for you. Well, I, hope, I hope that helps. Reporting.